I'm Ms. Artastic, and today we're going to draw milkshakes that explore the principle of design emphasis. Let's make some art. Don't forget to keep your eyes open for Van Gogh's Starry Night as it's hidden somewhere in this video. To begin the milkshake, we're going to draw a horizontal line across the page. So it's about eh, just a little bit shorter than my hand. And we want to make sure there's a lot of gap at the top. Next, I'm going to draw two curving lines, almost like the letter C. And then we're going to draw diagonal lines down on the page. Now we do not want these to meet at the bottom yet. Okay, so next I'm just going to draw a curved line at the bottom to join these two guys together. Then from there we're going to draw the stem on our milkshake. So I'm going to draw two just slightly curved lines and then we're going to go out on a diagonal on either side and then back across. Great. So now we've got to add some detail on the inside of this milkshake um, glass. I'm going to draw my horizontal line that is parallel to the first one that I drew. Two more letter C's, but they're going to be a lot smaller than the first ones. Next, we're going to draw diagonal lines down on either side. Perfect. Okay, now this is where it's going to be a little bit more tricky. We're going to leave a gap and then we're going to, in the middle, go up just a little bit and then back down, kind of like a triangle. Now we're going to draw two letter U's in between that. Great. And that will give us a kind of a milkshake glass texture. We're also going to draw a small border on the inside of the stem to give it some little bit of detail. And we're going to add a line like that just for the texture of the glass. We'll add a couple dashes here and there. That's it. Ooh, maybe, maybe we'll add a couple here too. That might look nice. Lovely. Okay, now we're going to draw the uh, milkshake's face. Okay, here we go. We're going to do two circles on either side of the glass. And we want to make sure that they're right up against the line of the border. Inside those eyes, we're going to draw two, uh, sorry, one big circle and two small circles. Once you've done that, just give it a little, little color in. Notice how I'm being very careful as I color in. I don't want to get lose that white because once I use a marker and if I color on the white, that white is really hard to get back. It's kind of gone forever. So I want to be very careful when I do detailed work like that. Okay, we got two super cute eyeballs. Now remember, if you don't like the way I draw something, you can totally draw something in your own style. All right, I'm gonna draw a mouth, a nice big happy mouth. And again, if you don't like the way I draw it, you can totally add your own flair and do your own artist flavor and draw the way a mouth the way you want. So one parallel, sorry, one horizontal line between the eyes, the letter U. Beautiful. Now from one corner, we're going to sweep that line and curve it down to make the tongue. And then we're going to do detailed work. So we need to be very careful when we color the rest of the mouth black. How cute is that milkshake face? Next, we're going to do some cherries, and these are going to be our milkshake's friend. Now, this artwork is focusing on the principle of design emphasis, and we want to place all the emphasis. 
on this milkshake. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that this milkshake is the biggest part of both the composition and the artwork, okay? So it's gonna be bigger than all the other elements. That way, all the attention is going to be drawn to the milkshake because it's gonna be the biggest part of our piece. All the emphasis will be placed on that. And we're going to make a slightly busier background and have this guy more simple, so that way it takes up it feels bigger in presence, okay? And then the background will be more of like a pattern shape. So we wanna use repetition in the background and then make this different. So everything in the background is going to be the same, but because this guy is gonna be a lot more different, um, there will be emphasis placed on that. So we're gonna really play with creating a strong focal point in this art piece using the principle of design emphasis. All right, we gotta do some cherries. I'm gonna do a little bit of a curving line there. So it starts off with a C that has a long tail. We're gonna draw a curved line up for the stem and it's gonna to reach towards the top of our paper. One horizontal line and then curve it back down to make a beautiful cherry stem. Lovely. All right, we're gonna draw the cherry body. So it starts off like the letter C and connects to the other side like a backwards C. Or kind of like a wobbly circle, if you will. We're going to give our cherry a face. So on either side of the cherry, I'm gonna start off by coloring and then stop. So circle and then start coloring and then stop when you have a nice small white dot in each eye. Draw a horizontal line between the two eyes. Your letter U, bring the corner down, color in the rest of the mouth. Lovely. I'm also going to add a little shiny spot on here. So I'm gonna add just kind of like a curving shape right there. And that will be for the glare of light. Okay, now that we got that cherry, we need to draw the whipped cream with some curving lines on the top of this milkshake. Okay, so curving lines on either side and then we're gonna do our parallel line. Now you can leave it like this or if you want, you can add a couple sprinkles. So you can add some rectangles here and there to make some sprinkles on your whipped cream. But if you would like some other treats on your whipped cream, go ahead and add whatever thing that you want on your milkshake. Whether it be Smarties, maybe some Jube Jubes, although I imagine that those would sink really fast. And then that'd be kind of like a slimy Jube Jube at the end, bottom of your milkshake, and that'd be kind of nasty. But you do what you want, whatever you like. I added some sprinkles. All right. Now, I really feel like this milkshake and this cherry need a couple friends. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw two more cherries at the bottom of the milkshake. That way they're having a little milkshake party. All right, I'm gonna start off with that elongated C. Draw my stem. I'm gonna draw these two guys a little bit bigger than that guy up there, to be honest. Okay, so after I draw the body, we're gonna carefully do the eyeballs. Just like that. Then we're gonna draw the line between the mouth. Letter U, just like that. And then the tongue. And then we're gonna carefully color in the rest of the mouth. Okay, then we gotta do one more uh, cherry on the other side. Okay, so we're gonna begin by doing our swooping letter C. Whoop. Just as so. Nice tall stem. Add the body. Then on either side, we're gonna do the eyes line between for the mouth.
and then color in the rest of the mouth. And then add your little shiny spots for light. Great, so now we have the elements of our composition. Again, the emphasis is placed on the milkshake because it's the largest part of this drawing. So I'm gonna get rid of my drawing mark maker and I'm gonna trade it for my coloring um, mediums. So I'm gonna color with both um, wax crayon today and then some things I'm going to color with felt marker. But you choose whatever you have in your home or in your classroom. I'm going to draw this part a little bit darker than this part. This is gonna be a little bit lighter than in the inside. But up here, this is going to be white and this is going to be pink. So I'm gonna go ahead and start coloring and then you can color the same way that I color or you can make it your own. Here we go.
Okay, so before we continue, um, we're going to do some shading with some purple and some blue, and then we'll do our patterned background. Okay, under all the cherries add a circular or a U-shape shadow with your blue. Under the milkshake, add a shadow with purple. Along the edge where the whipping cream meets the glass, shade with blue. Then along the milkshake where the milkshake meets the, I guess the frame, you can shade with blue as well. And you can see how the colors are overlapping there. It looks really great. And then you can do that all the way around. You can add a little bit of purple along the bottom on the exterior frame of the glass. And that will add some shadows there. You're gonna use purple and shade around the stem on every cherry. And then you can shade around the eyes with the same purple and a little bit around the mouth. And that will help make them pop. Now we always think that black is the tool to shade with, but you don't have to use it. Today we're using purple and blue to add shadows and doesn't it work beautifully? It adds a totally another element to our colors and it adds variety. It looks really nice. Great, so we have a variety of colors going on and doesn't everything look so, so cute? Okay, I'm gonna use a felt marker for the background, but you can go ahead and use whatever you want. I'm gonna do a pink polka dotted background, but again, pick whatever color and art medium that you want to use, and that makes you happy as your art piece is your art piece and this one is mine. So I'm gonna go ahead and start by coloring just some small polka dots in lines, in horizontal lines, across the background.
you're done, you can see that all the circles around the patterned background are a lot smaller than everything else here. So the emphasis is really placed on the subjects in our artwork. They are the largest piece or elements of our composition um, and they draw the most focus because all of the different variety of colors and shapes happen here on the milkshake and the friends versus the background. So we the viewer tends not to look at the patterns first. They're going to look here first because all the emphasis and the size is all on the milkshake. So it's the biggest piece. It has the most variety um, and it's different from the background. This is all the same, whereas this is different. Okay, so that's how we have placed emphasis on this milkshake. So. Now that you're done, make sure you sign your artist's name and display it somewhere where everyone can take a look. Artastic Nation, that's the end of this episode. Tune in every Tuesday evening for the premiere of the next episode and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. For more art tutorials, visit my blog at MsArtastic.com. Teachers, find my creative, high-quality art resources in my TPT store, Ms. Artastic. Finally, you can receive free art worksheets for kids by joining my newsletter by simply clicking the first link in my video description. All links are available in the description of this video. See you next time.